Hi, this is John Moore with LRP America. Today I'm going to show you how to install software on our Flowworks team ESC. And this also can be used with IX8 and the spin series of ESCs. First off, you're going to need a USB bridge, spec 2, which is indicated right here on the back of the bridge. And also make note of the solid blue light, which I'll explain how that works later. First off, what we're going to do is connect the ESC to the computer so that we can do software updates. All preferences and setting changes for trackside use is all done with the mode and set button on the ESC so that you don't need a tablet or a computer hooked up or even have a program box. So you can do everything trackside in an instant so that you can make changes quickly and feel it on the track a lot faster. First off, we're gonna start with step one, which is connecting the speed controller to the computer. Um, so hit the connect button, and a window will pop up, letting you know that the USB, making sure that the USB bridge is installed and connected properly to the computer, and it indicated earlier by the solid blue light. Also make sure that the speed controller is connected to the sensor port of the ESC to the bridge. Make sure that no battery is connected to the speed controller and that the switch is off in the off position on the speed controller as well. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And the first section will tell you what type of speed controller you have connected, which is a Flow Competition Flow Works team. Um, they both use similar logic boards, so that's going to be showing up as an indicator. Also, you'll see a serial number. This is unique to each speed controller and for a purpose of just making sure that we can keep track of which speed controllers are connected and so on and so forth. And it also indicates what version is currently installed on the ESC. Now, what we're going to install today is version 3.8. And uh, this is an off-road specific software. And 1.4 is good for general use, but 3.8 will help you unlock uh, special features and um, additional settings that we prefer to use in off-road, especially by our world champions like Stephen Hartson and so on. So we're going to go to step two now, which is to select the firmware file that we're going to use. So basically, I'll show you here on our website under our software update section is first section is software bridge driver which is already installed and what we are currently using the first window and the next section you'll see firmware and flow competition update files and works team files and these are the, the specific softwares to the class of driving that you're going to be using so we have 3.8 for off-road 4.7 for special on-road modified, 5.4 for special stock only software, and this is general stock for on-road and off-road. And then the original 1.4 initial software in case you want to go back. And also version 1.5, which is our special reverse firmware, which has a lot of racing features on it, but with the addition of reverse. You can also use the same page for spin software, uh, IX8 software, and Pulsar Touch software. So we'll go back to the LRP update section. A window would then pop up. What you're going to do is look for the firmware that you downloaded. It's best to probably download it to your desktop or a file that you know you can easily access. So we're going to go over to Flow 3.8 and it's indicated by, the firmware is indicated by LRP2. Select that and hit open. And under the firmware file details, you'll see that it again is showing the type that's gonna be installed to, the serial number, and what version now you are going to install. So go ahead and hit the start button. And of course you'll see do not interrupt the update process um, at this time it's best to not do too many 
things on your computer that can o be overworked at the system and just let the software install. Uh, software time is usually about four minutes. So at this time, we'll take a quick break in between and uh, we'll cut back in for the finishing up of the install. Okay, after the install, we have a small screen that popped up. Um, let, letting you know how many seconds it took to um, update the new software. Uh, we have seen on average it's the 245, 246 seconds. So if that's in the case, then you should be good. Also, please note that you need to do a factory reset to the speed controller and readjust the modes on your speed controller and recal recalibrate your radio to the speed controller after the install. And the way to do that, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but you'll see on the ESC when you have it powered on, you have a mode and set button. And what you're gonna do is hold down the set button as you turn on the speed controller. And when you see lights, let go, that is it. You won't see any, hear any beeps, chimes, or different light indications. You just hold down the set button and let go when you turn it on. That should do a factory reset. And then after that, you should recalibrate your e, uh, ESC to your radio. And then also um, make sure that the modes and the sets that you would like to put on the ESC are where you want it to be. Um, we will also do videos on uh, how to calibrate your radio to your speed controller coming up and then also how to use the mode and set button to make setting changes on your ESC. This is John with LRP America. Thank you. Have a nice day.